Nomad here, bring you Boom ID versus Maneski in the second match in this best of three series in the Dream League Open Qualifiers. Boom ID leading one game so far. Febby could be in trouble here on this Crystal Maiden as the players of Boom ID draw first blood down here at bottom. Well, Marana getting busy. Oh, the arrow connects onto the Phoenix and uh, this should be a kill leaping out of the way and finding that kill. Uh, running forwards on to the Undying here. This could be Mushi in trouble, but they're turning it around onto the Lina. And the rest of Maneski coming in the back line with Moon and Febby chasing forwards here. It looks like Lina should escape, although the zombies are going to catch up. She needs to clear this guy off. <laughs> it's uh, Mushi ready to roll. So I'll play now. Febby stunned up. Here goes Boom ID looking for the killers. Moon comes in the back line. It's going to be one for one right now. Well, Moon going deep here could pay the price. The Laguna Blade comes out. The damage as well. Supernova also stacking up so much onto Moon. Can they bring him down? Yes, they can. But Maneski also managed to drop the Shaker. What are you thinking, Boom ID? Well, they're going to jump forward onto this one. Stun does not land onto anybody. He completely splits the pack there. And now Mushi on the front line. Supernova is going to come off on the back. But Marana jumping in to try and deal with it. But there comes the Drow Ranger laying the damage off onto the Marana. Marana not going to drop, though. Meanwhile, the uh, Phoenix will eventually goes down. There's your black hole onto two. As the Marana jumps in to try and do the damage and will be successful. Marana will drop in response, but has the agents. Doesn't really mind. Meanwhile, the Echo comes in. Fervian and St. Lucas is down. And down goes the Earthshaker as well. Looking good for Maneski. Fighting from a game behind right now as they come forward. There's a black hole onto two! And the uh, Marana's in as well. That is a clean up and a half. And Moon are just so huge. Look at that net worth. Down goes the tier two tower as they continue the siege in the top lane. 26 minutes. And uh, Moon's gets to close this one out as he draws his shovels. The Guna Blade thrown out onto the Marana. Oh, that's an Echo Slam though. Coming down onto three. Follow up with a Fissure and a Supernova as well. Can they kill this Supernova from the high ground? They certainly can. And well, Moon chasing forwards. They could bring down the Earthshaker here. Febby does drop. Meanwhile, oh, beautiful LSA on to two there as. Does look like non-dual state will be able to take down KP. Now, Moon, not sure what to do with himself here. Doesn't want to come forwards. Doesn't want to give away anything more. Oh. KP. Um, oh. They're actually going forwards here. Now comes the Echo Slam. They're going to take down Mushi really quickly to start off this fight. Arrow lands on a BKB Drow. And, uh, well, the egg, it all gets thrown for Mushi. I feel like this is big commitment now. Now that he's a center ulti as well. There was a BKB out from Moon. Moon could be in trouble here as he gets Laguna down. Aegis up on the leader as well, so she's not scared. Now up onto the high ground for Boom ID this time. Like one game up, so this would be the series they can take this game right now. But Maneski, not going to let them have it. They still have these buybacks as well. Willing to let their barracks fall. And now the center ulti to get themselves out. Well, in comes the Enigma. They're going to black hole this Drown Ranger now. Can they find this kill, though? It's taking them a long time, and the BKB is going to come out from Drow, but Moon gets in to finish off the kill. Now it's Alina versus the Murano, who's going to go down. It looks like Alina's dropped very low here, having to pop that. Yules will drop. They also take down... Well, Phoenix actually getting away with that dive, and now onto the high ground. They could find the Earthshaker. They get him. Does have buyback. Maneski. Looking threatening here as they come into this middle lane. But Drow in the tree line. But Moon's found her. Can they bring her down in time? There's no BKB on this Drow keeping her stun lock, But she manages to get herself away. Now the BKB could come out. Yeah, Moon's going to pop it. And now the Echo Slam onto two. They take down Murano. <laughs> Everybody's just dropping here as Maneski take this fight. And they're looking for more. Onto the high ground. Maneski. They're going to take down a second lane of barracks here, and there is nothing Boom ID can do about it. I'm actually surprised they're not going for a win. They've got the time, but choosing to play it safe and go for the racks. Oh, in comes a Sentinel. It's going to uh, clean up some illusions. Now, Roshan. Aegis on the Marana. Maneski want to finish this. Center ulti, Echo Slam, it all comes down. There's your Aegis and there's a black hole in response from KP though. And all oh, the Phoenix dives straight into it. The Supernova will come off eventually. KP is dead. Mushi as well to follow. Now from the high ground, this Lina doing so much work. But Marana fighting back and fighting hard. Does get crit right at the end there. She throws down the arrow. We'll find the kill as well. Maneski, they turn the fight around. Febby could fall down, but it's going to be the Earthshaker dying in response. And there's no one left to defend. GG is called. Maneski will bring it to 
to a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Game 2 now, Maneski versus Boom ID. 1-1 one, one apiece, everything to play for. 30 seconds to battle. Oh, PL getting stunned up as uh, the Monkey King comes out of invis, but Doppelganger... Oh, he tries to get to the high ground, but the real one's stuck! And they know who it is because of the Jingu as well, so they can just take down this Phantom So that's unlucky. Rams could be in trouble here as they've got this Nyx inside, these Cogs Yarrow to follow up as well on to Febby. But the stun comes out, it's too little. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Moon. DK in trouble, there's a hookshot coming through onto the Pugna. Febby looking to chase here, the Doom is out onto the Pugna. He's actually being run down by Febby as well. Meanwhile, Mushi gets taken down to the back line. Down goes Pugna though, down goes the Phoenix as well. The Wukongs is out. How much can it really do though? Moon trying to run away from this one. Twike Carabas off the mask, they do take down Febby. Now KP hiding in the trees, but getting chased down. Monkey King should find this kill. Yep, KP is dead. I'm sending you back to the seven hell. Well, PL gonna get found a striked up. And that's a lot of damage for the Pugner as well. Forced a doppelganger out of this one. Meanwhile, in comes the monkey, but they do have the damage. The burn will do the job. Winter's cursed used as well. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Bottom lane. Phantom Lancer. Oh, they're gonna go onto the Sixth Assassin with the Sentry Ward. Meanwhile, Wukong comes down from the high ground and they're just gonna surround KB. He can't get the Doom off in time. Winter's Curse too late. And actually, Wukong deals with Mushi anyways. <laughs> they will kill off the Nyx Assassin. Ah, uh, Blink's done. Onto the Monkey King. They might have this one. The Hookshot is blocked though. And now the arrow comes through. BKB pop from Moon though. Meanwhile, Supernova on the back line is doing so much work. They're just gonna go onto Febby instead. Take down that clockwork. Now, Moon is the next target, but PL on the high ground, not gonna live. Boom ID looking dominant in this game so far. It's the third game, and they are feeling strong as the arrow flies through. They land onto Febby with the life drain. They will get the kill. Down goes your clockwork. Now, Moon on the run, but in comes the Monkey King. He's got so much damage. There she is, take down Mushi on the back lines. Maneski are getting crushed right now as Moon falls as well. Boom ID feeling great. 13k gold advantage. Meanwhile, well, Monkey King, they're gonna have to control him up. The Winter's Curse. Meanwhile, Mushi is gonna go down all the same. And, uh, just doesn't feel like there's a response. Alright, Moon jumps in now. They're going onto the Nyx Assassin. What can they get done here? Arrow not gonna land onto anybody, but Moon with the BKB just forced to back out of this Wukong's command. It just does so much damage. Well, Vineski on the retreat. And there comes the Boundless Strike onto two. And, oh, Moon gets destroyed by the magic damage of Pugna. ID looking for KP in the bottom lane. Tempted to go for this one. He's weaving into the trees, but he's not weaving enough. And there's the Decrepify. There's your B. Oh, BKB. They can't finish him. It's going to be a slow kill, though. Yeah, that's bringing in more heroes. I'll finish the job. Let's get the A on, at least. <laughs> well, knock, knock, knocking on the high ground. Boom ID. They've got 19k gold advantage, and they are not afraid to use it. 32 minutes into this game and Boom Idea looking strong. Hard to see what really Mineski can, can fight here. Now the Winter's Curse, that's a good way to start it. Maybe with the right initiation for the hookshot they can make something happen here. But they're holding off. There's an Aegis on the Monkey King, it's just so hard for them to initiate here. Have the buybacks though. Where is their opening? And here we go. Moon jumping onto the back lines, trying to get the stun off. I will be able to take down the Pugna nice and quick. Now it's a supernova to follow up. They're just trying to ignore the Monkey King, but he's going to have so much damage in a minute. There we go. The Jingu comes off, but they take down the Phoenix. This is looking like a good fight for Maneski. Can they really hold this? Meanwhile, they're just ignoring the Monkey King, letting his Aegis tick away, but Moon will fall for that. Now, once again, Monkey just up on the high ground, chunking away at those barracks. Now, PL coming in. Just does not have the items to fight this up right now as Monkey King gets to work again. The four stuff into the Hulk Hogs, that's quite nice. What can they do about it though? This Aegis is still alive and it's about to go down soon. Uh, they're gonna drop it. Well, doomed up on the Marana as well, and the PL illusions will clean up Nodule State. Now, Moon up onto the high ground, going onto this Nyx Assassin here. Can they get the damage out in time onto the Nyx? He is going to fall with the Supernova and the Wukongs. It's so much damage, Maneski needs to be careful here, but they're just fighting it up as down goes the Pugna, but PL will eventually fall. Buy back from Boom ID. This guy actually gave Maneski the opening they need. 
PL forced to buy back here. They don't have it on their clockwork. BMID just going for the barracks right now. They just really want to end this game. You can feel how desperate they are. Oh, stun onto two. That is nice. And that's going to take down one and take down two as well. Moon and KP hit the deck. Going to buy back immediately though. Wanting to get into this fight. They do not have the doom just yet. Monkey onto the high ground. Oh, Mushi caught too far forwards here. 50 seconds. No Mushi. No Winter's Curse. Slowly but surely, Boom ID are pushing in. Moon goes for stun, goes for the fire as Monkey King just coming forwards. The unstoppable force of Monkey King, and there's the supernova there, the Wukongs as well. Mirana just coming forwards, Maneski being forced right the way back here, but Boom ID are chasing the boundless strike onto three. This could be enough to end the game. Down goes Febby. Moon, what can you do? Absolutely nothing is the answer. And GG is cool. Boom ID will knock Maneski out of the Dream League Miners. No Major, no Miner, no Maneski.